Hi there, this is Chris with Peace of Mind Art and Crafts and I'm coming to you today from my studio. Um, I'm going to do a little um, giveaway here. Uh, as you know I just started this year and I'm trying to build up my subscribers so I thought I'd do a little giveaway and um, I'm also going to do a kind of a homage to junk journalers on YouTube. So it's it's not really a test, it's more like a little quiz that you can take and the winner will not be, be determined on who gets these right, it's just kind of a little fun thing for you to do. The winner of the um, giveaway, um, I will uh, select the winner after I've reached more than a hundred subscribers and right now I'm on 66 so that's not too far to go. Um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to subscribe and then you'll need to put a comment in this particular video. And uh, when it happens that I get 100 subscribers or more, then I'll um, select from the comments that are on this particular video. And I'll probably let you know uh, in a, a video ahead of time when I'm going to do it so um, that you can watch that particular video. So uh, let's get started and first thing I want to do is I want to show you what is going to be available to the winner of this uh, giveaway and like I said it's not going to be based on answering these questions correctly or anything that's just a fun little quiz to see how much we know about all the different um, junk journals that are out there that we that we love to listen to and watch. So um, I have been I have done a video on how to make these spools out of cardboard and aluminum foil. And this this video, of course, is uh, one of my last ones that I did. So just look up on more of the the recent videos and you'll find it. It's how to make these spools that then then you can wrap around your uh, different slow stitching rolls, um, uh, fabric ruffles. Um, I have some where I have my um, my long uh, snippet rolls that I make, and these can just be wrapped around these spools. And they're kind of made to mimic the old wooden ones that that they used to have. Um, I wanted to buy some of those and they were kind of pricey so I decided I'd just make my own out of cardboard. So like I said this is on a video. So the winner will get a small one and a large one. We'll get these two. This one has uh, fabric ruffles on it. This one has a uh, slow stitch roll and I'll take it off in a minute and show it to you. And you will also get one of my uh, lace rings, lace and ribbon rings, and this is on my um, on my Etsy shop also. <clears throat> so these are on how to make these are on my YouTube. How to make these are also on my YouTube, and these are for sale on my Etsy shop. So this is just a lot of different uh, snippets of lace and ribbon that you can take off of here and use um, when you want your, to make a tag or whatever uh, to use in your ephemera. So I have mine just basically right behind my sewing area and I take it off and I bring it to the right to the table so I can decide wh what I need to use. And then you can refill this as you go with different uh, end links that you have left over from your ribbon rolls. So that'll be the pro that'll be the prize for the giveaway. It'll be one of these, this this larger one, and this smaller one. So those three things will be the prize. Let me show you what this looks like. I have a little pin in it. I have been making these. Uh, slow stitch rolls. I just love them. Rachel 
from Roxy Creations was the one that kind of got me started on this. Here's what the, the roll looks without anything on it. And I'll show you this. Slow stitch. Bring it up a little closer so you can see. I just use all odds and ends from fabric, lace, ribbon, yo-yos, etc. The backing on this particular one is a piece of muslin. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Actually, this one is a piece of ribbon. This is a piece of ribbon on the back. And um, then I just added the slow stitch items on there. And then I did the stitching over the top. And I've used French knots, made some daisies, used lace. I put some charms on. As you can see, I used some, uh, this, this particular thing was a, a cuff from a blouse. You can see the buttonhole there. I have made some that I've used uh, my great niece's uh, old dresses that I had some leftovers from when I made her a quilt from her old dresses. I saved some leftovers and I used those on some of the other uh, slow stitch rolls that I've made. So anyway, this is the one that will be given away. So I won't take the time to roll that back on right now. Um, so what do you use these for? Um, I'll show you a, a journal that I made using a length of my slow stitch ribbon, if that's what you want to call it. And this is a journal that I made out of a piece of quilted, already quilted, white fabric. I'll show you the back. This was made so that it can it closes the book, but so that it can slide off of the book when you want to open it. Okay, and it does have a charm hanging here. It's a cameo. You could close it any other way that you might want to. For the, uh, for the closure of your book. And uh, the book is made, like I said, out of a uh, white quilted material. And then I've added lace to this binding in the sides and to the back. And I'll flip through real quick and show you um, some of the things that I do have some more slow stitching in here. So I'll show you some of that. little bit of everything in here. Here's some of the um, the fabric ribbon that I made sewing sewing down a, a length of fabric. Here's a little dress that I made uh, following uh, instructions from uh, G. Kerr. She is on the uh, YouTube channel also. Okay, there's another ribbon. Here's a snippet. Here's a snippet from my snippet roll that I used as a pocket. Okay. Here's another fabric flower. And some uh, lace along the side. Here's a slow stitch uh, that I used as a pocket. I just simply glued it down on all four sides. You could sew it as well. And then you put a tag in it or whatever. Okay, so that's what you can use your, your slow stitch for. You could also use it for belly bands. 
uh, you could do a big, uh, like for instance, I just used fabric, and this, and this part, you could use a, um, a bigger piece of the uh, snippet roll for the back and the front pockets. Okay, and actually, this this journal sits, and you wouldn't really even need a, um, a cover for it. But it's it's kind of, was kind of fun to to do that uh, slow snippet, this little snippet cover for it. And after you finish with the book and you want to put it away, you just slide that back on there. Okay, so now for the quiz, let's do the quiz. And this is, like I said, for my giveaway. Okay, um, here's the first question. What journal maker is left-handed and lives in Italy? Okay, and if you if you find I'm going too fast on this, just just slow it down, pause it, and then you can think about it and then go on. In a sweet, soothing voice, this journal maker, extraordinaire, says, talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. This talented artist is left-handed. You can also hear the soothing sound of seagulls in their background of her videos. This lady makes books and journals. She reminds us, I'm not your mom. Sassy and talented, this English lady says, let's be honest, it's more fun with the bling. This lady, you can hear saying, hello from me and my supervisor, Leo, in a calm, soothing voice from Canada. This artist and teacher says, I'm coming to you from my studio in Los Angeles, California. This journal maker lives in Portugal. To her, it's all easy peasy. She always says that, easy peasy. The crafty lady here got her name from her two felines. In addition to her journals, this lady shows us her wonderful garden and three bear cubs. This English lady is famous for her digital tags. This journal maker writes her instructions in black marker and reminds us to have fun. This fun journal maker, this lady is from Australia and says at the close of her videos, thanks for joining me and cheers. This artist and teacher does mixed media as well as journals and closes her videos with peace of mind to everyone. Okay. Let's go over these one more time and then I'll tell you the answers. What journal maker is left-handed and lives in Italy? Did you get this one? Rachel with Roxy Creations. In a sweet, soothing voice, this journal maker extraordinaire says, talk amongst yourselves, I'll be right back. That, of course, is Gail Gustinelli. I'm sure most of you probably got that one right. This talented artist is left-handed. You can always hear the soothing sound of seagulls in the background. This, of course, is Artie Mays. Andrea is her first name. She's from England. I just love listening to her videos. This lady makes books and journals. She reminds us, I'm not your mom. 
This is one of the first YouTube journalers that I started listening to. And her name is Nick the Booksmith. This sassy and talented, this English lady says, let's be honest, it's more fun with the bling. And she's kind of like listening to Lucille Ball sometimes because even though she says it in an English accent, she kind of fumbles around and, and um, turns her, her uh, any problems or mistakes that she might make, she turns them into fun and laughs at herself a lot. That, of course, is Tina with Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Hello from me and my supervisor, Leo, in a calm, soothing voice from Canada. And that is Wendy with Wendy's Journal Adventures. This artist and teacher, I'm coming to you from my studio in Los Angeles, California. And this is one of my favorites too, Robin Dudley House. This journal maker lives in Portugal and to her it's all easy peasy. And that is G. Kerr, Happiness in Crafting. This crafty lady here got her name from her two felines. That is Amy with Crafty Cat. In addition to her journals, this lady shows us her wonderful garden and three bear cubs. She lives out in the country. Mrs. Cog. This English lady is famous for her digital tags. Tracy Fox. This journal maker writes her instructions in black marker and reminds us to have fun. It's uh, Treasure Books and the lady's name is N Natasha. This fun journal maker from Australia says at the close of her videos, thanks for joining me and cheers. And that's Deborah with String and Scissors. And of course, this artist and teacher does mixed media as well as journals and closes her videos. Peace of mind to everyone. And you might not know this one, but actually it's me. Chris with Peace of Mind Art and Crafts. Hope you got some of those right. And I'm sure that you listen to some of these ladies. And uh, I hope that you listen to me. Subscribe, please, and leave a comment. And uh, with that, I'm going to leave you. Hope you'll enter the contest to win the three things that I have available for you. And all you got to do is put your, it's at, actually you have to subscribe and put a comment in this video, any kind of comment that you want, and then I will um, select from anyone, who, as soon as I get 100 subscribers or more, I will select from one of the people that have made the comments and I'll send you the prize. Thanks again for joining me. I wish you peace of mind. Thank you. Goodbye.